not being one for leaving well enough alone, I have uh, converted this camera aperture effect into a generator. And you can drop it anywhere on your timeline. And you can see by skimming through it that it doesn't do anything for the default. You basically have to keyframe everything. So let me go over the features. Uh, you have the blade opening here. This will close it. About halfway is the default setting and you can open it way up. You can move it around on the screen and you can keyframe these. Uh, you can turn the background on and off. You can change the background color and stylize this. Uh, you can make it bigger and smaller. So you can scale an effect like that. This little circular thing in the middle here, that goes with the lens flare. So you can use an optional lens flare and use this controller to position it. And then these are all the controls for the lens flare below here. You can control the size. And the size, all of this is going to be relative to the scale. So as you scale down, to different sizes, the flare will scale too. Intensity and fall off, streak intensity, streak count, the noisiness, And remember, you can keyframe these so you can get this motion in the generator to animate. And there's a ring radius in here. And some color controls. Well, by the time you get this, I'm actually going to put in um, the X and Y locations for this so that you can uh, keyframe this action. It'll be under this somewhere, probably right under the Use Lens Flare. Okay, I've added the um, location for the lens flare, and I'm going to scale this up out of the way and see if we can keyframe this. I'll move the playhead to the beginning here. Well, I can move it anywhere, I'll just put it there and keyframe that point. Move over here, keyframe another point, move it. 
with a timeline, keyframe, and move it. And I'll let this render and play through. Forward slash to loop my selection. Hmm. There you go. Okay. Have fun with it. <laughs>